Symptoms of MS can be mimicked by any other condition affects the nervous system, including say a neuropathy or stroke or a migraine, for example, or any other systemic autoimmune conditions that is affecting the brain. In fact, in one study, uh, up to 20% of the people were actually misdiagnosed with MS and uh, eventual diagnosis turned out to be something else. So it, it's important to seek a neurologist that is trained in multiple sclerosis to get an accurate and definitive diagnosis. MS is a clinical diagnosis. Uh, we, we don't have a blood test, say for example, like for diabetes, you measure the blood sugar and the hemoglobin A1C and and deliver a diagnosis. So the diagnosis of MS is based on patient's story and the ex clinical examination and we heavily depend on magnetic resonance imaging, MRI of the brain and the spinal cord and uh, in some situations so may uh, obtain a spinal tap to look for certain evidence of MS in the spinal tap. And putting all these things together uh, you can make a diagnosis of MS with very high certainty. We use criteria actually to facilitate research and clinical practice called McDonald's criteria. And sometimes uh, these criteria may be misapplied, uh, applied in a wrong way. Uh, for example, a, a non-specific neurological symptom may be misinterpreted as a typical attack of MS, so that can happen. Uh, but majority of the times, it's usually misinterpretation of the MRI findings. On a patient with MS, uh, in MRI uh, of the brain and the spinal cord, you see what is called MS blocks or T2 hyperintense lesions. Uh, they are distributed in a certain location and they are in a certain shape and they have certain morphology and they have certain evolution in time if you do a follow-up scan. There could be a lot of other conditions that can cause somewhat similar appearance and uh, sometimes those can be misinterpreted as MS. We have a lot of treatment options and some of these treatments affect the immune system and can have a certain degree of side effect profile. So uh, it's, it's, the medications are always chose based on the risk profile and the degree of benefit they're going to offer. Therefore, an accurate diagnosis is also important because these medications are not going to help if this, uh, the diagnosis is not MS.